It's tournament time at Mount Gilead where the number five Indians look to defend their home court versus the number 13 Bishop, excuse me, number 15 Bishop Ready Silver Knights. It's high school hoops, it's live, it's free, and it all comes to you next. County Hospital, along with Ohio Health, is the official sports medicine provider of Mount Gilead High School. Available 24-7 to care for your athlete, with same-day appointment options available. They keep your athletes healthy and in the game. Morrill County Hospital and Ohio Health are proud to partner with Mount Gilead High School to provide a healthier community. Serving teams, parents, and all of Morrill County. Hello and welcome back to Mount Gilead, where I, where the illustrious Garrett Parlett joins me, Storm Bluntley. Garrett, it's finally tournament time. Tournament time, ready to get things going here. Storm for the Lady Indians versus, versus Bishop Reedy. We had a good one last night. Storm had Ashlyn. Ashlyn up taking home West Holmes, but that was last night. And tonight we got a good one, some tournament action. Super excited about this one. Yeah, I mean, talking a little bit more about that one last night. I mean, that's all we talked about on the way here to Mount Gilead is how good Luke Denbo is and how amazing it is to watch him. But like you said, it, it's tournament time, and it doesn't get more exciting than this for Bishop Reedy. This is a tough first tournament game. The Silver Knights have really been in and out of quarantine, too, and not only have when they got the chance to play, they've really struggled. So tonight it's going to be a tough task to come in here and beat the Lady Indians, but we'll see what they can do here at Mount Gilead. For Mount Gilead, they played well in the conference and that is spearheaded by the team leader, Holly Gomp. 
Holly Gump, the star stud senior, really does it on and off the court. She's a great team leader, and when she gets her time and gets her shot, she uses her speed, her speed and her elusiveness to be able to get to the bucket and get easy transition layups, and it really goes a long way on defense, too, because she forced a lot of turnovers. Mount Gilead has been playing well recently. They lost their last one, but it was a nail-biter. It was a tough game the last time they ended up losing to Cardington, who ended up winning the K-Mac in ladies' hoops. But I believe in Mount Gilead. They're a very strong team, and they got a good resume. They're 14-7, and 8-6 and six in the K-Mac. They beat a, a couple tough teams. They finished third in the K-Mac behind Fredericktown and Cardington. So don't, don't be surprised if uh, Mount Gilead you know, makes a run here in this tournament. Speaking of tournaments, we, this isn't the only tournament game we're covering. Tomorrow we have our alum Crestview starting their tournament run. Crestview facing off against Lakota. I've never heard of Lakota, so it's going to be exciting to see them for the first time in action, get, get, get to do some research on them. But really curious to see tonight how they – Bishop Reedy attacks Holly Gomp on the defensive end. Getting ready for a tip off here. Things look just about set. Mount Gilead versus Bishop Reedy. Five versus 15 as the tip off goes to Mount Gilead and they'll have the ball on offense first. Going to set things up here. At the top of the key is Milsor. Milsor over to Gomp now, the team leader pretty much. Playing very well for this Mount Gilead's Indian squad. Milsor thought about the three, swings it around the perimeter. Now Elson for three, and that one falls. Mount Gilead on the board early. Right away, Mount Gilead being very patient on the offense end, swinging it around at Holly Gomp, setting up Elson over on the left wing right there to knock down a three. Now Bishop Reedy, the Silver Knights are going to have their first offensive possession. Quick mid-range floater right there. Rebound pulled down by Mount Gilead. On the fast break, a quick three-pointer. That one off the glass and out. Rebound pulled down by Bishop Reedy. Silver Knights have the ball now dribbling inside into the painted area. Decide to kick it out a little too much heat on that one as it sails out of bounds, and it's going to be Mount Gilead's ball. Not what Bishop Reedy wants right there. Don't want to turn the ball over at a high rate because Mount Gilead will dominate on the offensive end. Cannot give Mount Gilead easy opportunities to get easy buckets. Elson has it now for Mount Gilead. Kicks it over to Piper. Now in the corner. Back up top to Elson. Mount Gilead moving the ball around, being patient on this possession. Indians taking their time. Ends up with a three-point shot, and that one finds the bottom of the net. Mount Gilead quickly on top by six. We've covered a few Lady Indians game storm here at Mount Gilead, but we really have never seen them shoot the three at the rate they're shooting right now. Two for two right out of the gate. And they got a 6-0 lead. believe we got a scoreboard malfunction. Yeah, the scoreboard gave out right there just a little bit. Loose wire. We know a thing or two about those. We've had a few of those on our broadcast, Garrett, so... Things are getting reset. 6.36 left to go here in the first. 6-0 to zero in favor of Mount Gilead, and they have come out hot. Silver Knights still trying to put together their first scoring possession here of this one. Going to be difficult. Mount Gilead, a very good defensive team. Have a lot of quick rotations. Just a very solid defensive team. As orders has it, turns it over right there, and there's that good defense for Mount Gilead. Now running it out on the fast break. A little too much on that one, it falls out. Bishop Reedy taking it the other way. Top of the key now, almost travel, takes a screen right there. Kicks it over. Dribbling inside, and another turnover for Bishop Reedy. Mount Gilead once again on the fast break. Gomp has it, takes it all the way herself. Is it going to be fouled right there despite the large amount of contact? And it's going to be out of bounds, Mount Gilead. There was the speed I was talking about from Holly Gomp using it to her advantage, getting all the way down the floor and had the easy look as Mount Gilead can't capitalize on that offense possession. Jump ball right there. A couple of players got tied up. Possession arrow points towards the Silver Knights. They'll have it out of bounds. Bishop Reedy got to get something to go here. Down six, nothing, but Mount Gilead really hasn't struggled offensively when they get the shot. Still a lot of tournament play left in this one. 
Bishop Reedy has to put together some scoring positions, however. Inside quickly on the low block is the Silver Knights offense. Almost another turnover, able to save it. Mad dash for the ball. Mount Gilead's going to come up with it. So once again, another turnover for Bishop Reedy. On the other end, Mount Gilead does some more of the same, turning that one over. Silver Knights trying to set up once again their first score of the night. Just over five minutes left to go here in the first. Wheatley has it right wing. Dribbles to her right, gets it into the post. A couple of quick moves right there. Almost loses it and does so. Another turnover for the Silver Knights. On the fast break, Mount Gilead floater in the lane. That one falls just short as well. So both teams going pretty cold here now in the first quarter. Mount Gilead really, other than those two threes, have begun to go cold as Bishop Reedy cues up a three and can't get it to go. So something's got to give here for both squads. Someone's got to get on the board. Elson tried to sneak that one inside. Does find its target kicked out now to Gomp. Tries a triple of her own. That one just short. Bishop Reedy comes up with the rebound. Silver Knights take a mid-range try right there, and that one puts Bishop Reedy on the board. Exactly what the Silver Knights need to get something on the board, get some momentum. Don't want Mount Gilly to pull away here early. Want to be able to be in this game by at least halftime. Shot offline there for Mount Gilead. Bishop Reedy's going to take it the other way on offense. Swinging it over to Maker. Now trying to sneak that one inside of the post. Another turnover for Bishop Reedy. And the run out all alone is Mount Gilead. And Elson puts away that fast break layout. Look at the speed from Elson. Caught it at the free throw line and took it coast to coast for the easy layup. And ran by multiple Bishop Reedy defenders. Ball tipped out of bounds. Going to stay with Bishop Reedy. As Irwin checks in for Mount Gilead. And... There's also a substitution for the Silver Knights. Inbounded deep to the three-point line where Wheatley's waiting for it. Swings it over, orders a triple try now. That one's not going to fall. Rebound pulled down by Bishop Reedy. Hard spill right there for Bishop Reedy. Looks like she's going to continue playing, however, so showing the toughness right there to shake that one off and get back into it. Mount Gilead's going to have possession. Not really sure what happened on that possession storm. Ref did hear him, though, up here in the booth saying it was incidental, so no harm right there. Glad everybody's okay in that situation. Nelson has it for Mount Gilead, gets it over in the corner where Goff's waiting for it. She tries another three-pointer, that one off the mark. Bishop Reedy across half court, have the fast break opportunity here. Going to kick it out to the three-point line, a couple extra passes. Back out to the three-point line, Silver Knights resetting their offense. Mid-range try on the way for Bishop Reedy, that one halfway down and out. Two minutes and 25 seconds now here in the first. Another three-pointer on the way for Mount Gilead. That one doesn't find its mark either. They have gone cold from behind the arc. They really have gone cold from everywhere on the floor as Bishop Reedy cues up a three and splashes that one home as they're right back into this ball game, sitting eight to five with two minutes remaining. Another three-pointer here for Mount Gilead. That one a long rebound. Back in the hands of a Mount Gilead player, and they're able to put away that floater for two. It's really been Elson doing the scoring for Mount Gilead. And when she is not scoring the ball inside, they're shooting the threes. But as of right now, they're living and dying by them, and they're not making a high percentage. Bishop Reedy still trying to claw back into this one. Down five. Mount Gilead and Gomp have possession now. Home run pass on the way. All the way up to Millsor. She tries a three-pointer now. Irwin able to stay with it. Mount Gilead once again staying with it. 
Piper with the three-pointer, and that one falls to get Mount Gilead's offensive life once again. Mount Gilead shooting a high percentage here in the first quarter. I believe they've only missed two of those three-pointers, but they're confident in their ability to knock down the three-point shot. Silver Knights with a gorgeous backdoor cut right there, high off the backboard, won't find its target. Able to stick with the offensive rebound, put it back up and put it back in. Beautiful spin move right there down on the baseline. Got the defender to bite on the up fake and got it to go. Inside is Irwin now. Kicks it over to Millsor. Now out to Elson. Inside to Irwin. Takes a floater in the lane. That one's going to fall just short. Offensive rebound for Mount Gilead. Gomf now tries a tough shot in the lane. That one falls short as well. 30 seconds left here for the Silver Knights to try to get together a scoring possession. Wheely has it now, going to try from about 15 feet. That one falls short. Gomp has it in the open court. 20 seconds left to go. One on two, fast break. Decides to take it herself. Irwin pulls down the offensive rebound, puts it high up off the glass, and a late whistle comes in as Irwin's going to step up to the line for two. Nice job by Irwin running the floor. And got the offensive rebound off the Gomp miss. Got one for the floater, couldn't get it to go, but Irwin was right there to have her back and get a shot up and head to the free throw line for two. 13 seconds left here in the first. Irwin steps up for her first. That one unable to hit the target. Irwin on her second attempt. That one also misses, so 0 of 2 from the line. Ten, ten seconds left to go here for the Silver Knights. Clock ticking away. Five seconds now. Silver Knights need to get up a clean look at the buzzer from the three-point line. That one's too strong, and that's going to do it here for the first where the Mount Gilead Indians lead the Bishop Reedy Silver Knights 13-7. Going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. You've been watching High School Hoops live and free on the OH Report. County Hospital, along with Ohio Health, is the official sports medicine provider of Mount Gilead High School. Available 24-7 to care for your athlete, with same-day appointment options available. They keep your athletes healthy and in the game. Morrill County Hospital and Ohio Health are proud to partner with Mount Gilead High School to provide a healthier community. Serving teams, parents, and all of Morrill County. Second quarter tournament action already underway here at Mount Gilead, where the Indians led the Silver Knights 13 to seven after one. Storm Blunchley joined by the illustrious Garrett Parlett as we see Mount Gilead take another three pointer. And Garrett, they were having some success at the beginning of the first quarter, but a lot of shots fell offline at the end for Mount Gilead. I believe they made their first two buckets were from behind the arc and then just kind of went cold and. Then I believe made another one at the end of that first quarter. And they, they have a lot of confidence in their ability to knock down the three-point shot. And they believe they can live and die by it. Silver Knights have it now. Larger in the lane. Will not make that one. Rebound pulled down by Mount Gilead. Gomp's going to try another three-pointer. That one falls off the mark. Gomp, usually one of the leading scorers for Mount Gilead, going a little cold here in their first tournament game. Don't believe Storm, she is on the scoreboard tonight, so not usually one of the things we see here from Mount Gilead is that we're gonna travel on Bishop Reedy, but Holly Gomp gotta get something going here for the Lady Indians are able to pull away and get another tournament win. It's been tough for Bishop Reedy to take care of the ball here through the first quarter and the beginning of this second quarter. It'll be interesting to see the adjustments they make to change that, because 
with the way things are going. They're really not just getting a lot of offensive shots up. Indians now on offense, working it inside. Going to get Irwin with a travel right there. So both teams coming out of the first quarter break just a tad slow. Larger has it now for Bishop Reedy. Tried to sneak that one over orders, but they're going to say last touch by her, and Mount Gilead's going to have the ball now. Mount Gilead usually gets it done defensively, forcing a bunch of turnovers. They struggle offensively when Holly Goff can't get it going, and it seems as if the story is going to be the same tonight as Holly Goff has been struggling, but the defense has been work, get a lot of turnovers. No harm, no foul for Holly Gomp. Going a little cold as they call a blocking foul right there on Thomas. But the rest of the team picking up the slack is Mount Gilead still sitting pretty pretty in this one. Olsen's had a few floater alerts storm down in the lane. I believe she also made one of the first three pointers of the night. So Olsen picking up the slack tonight. Bishop Reedy can't get the easy one at the look and here comes the senior. Holly Gomp taking it all the way. There's a floater alert for you, Garrett. That one falls off the mark, so the shooting woes continue for Holly Gomp, but still not really that big of an impact as Mount Gilead still has the lead. Bishop Reedy across the half court line. Heard has it now, dribbles to her right. Turn, another turnover right there. For Bishop Reedy, Milsor has it, decides to stop popping. That one drops for three. Mount Gilead is living by the three-point shot, and they continue to knock him down as Milsor puts in another one from behind the arc for the Lady Indians tonight. It was tough for them to score from behind the arc at the end of the first, but maybe finding some life from that area of the floor. Another okay. turnover for Bishop Reedy. Mount Gilead taking the ball the other way. Milsor kicks out to Gomp. She tries a three now. That one's not going to find its target either. Been a tough night for Gomp so far tonight, but I'm sure at the halftime break she'll make some adjustments and she'll be right back on the court as she does check out for the Lady Indians. Gomp taking a seat, as you said, for the Indians. Larger has it for Bishop Reedy. Gets that one inside of the low block. Met with two Mount Gilead Indians and a quick jump ball right there. Possession now points to Bishop Reedy. Bishop Reedy, a very young team. Two, only one senior on this club, so the win would mean so much to this program if they could pick up one here on the road as they do get a nice little floater in the lane to go and cut this one to seven. Mount Gilead now on offense. Another quick three-pointer on this possession. Not really taking their time. Really trying to push this tempo. Get rewarded with it right there as they collect an offensive rebound. Leads to a jump ball and the possession arrow points to Mount Gilead. Maker checking in for Bishop Reedy. Orders tried to inbound that one. Going to be tipped by the Silver Knights, but the or excuse me, the refs point towards Mount Gilead. Good defense right there from Maker playing in the passing lanes, getting the deflection, almost got a steal out of it, but Holly Gomp check, checks back in. She will be the inbounder. Gomp had a chance to collect herself, see if she can get back on track and put some points on the board here for the Indians. Thomas has it, kicks it over to Milsor. Now to the freshly checked in Gomp. Gomp flows that one over. That pass looked like it didn't have a target, still finds the hands. Other than Mount Gilead Indian, and that one's tipped out of bounds as Bishop Reedy takes possession. Silver Knights doing a good job defensively, making somebody else beat you from the Lady Indians that isn't named Holly Gomp, and so far, they still got a shot to come back here and win this one. They just got to get some offense possessions to go and get some easy looks at the hoop. Hurd has it for Bishop Reedy. Ball tipped right there. Mount Gilead taking it on the fast break. Elson's got it, kicks it over to Thomas. Thomas all the way inside. Gorgeous Euro step right there, falls offline. Pulling down the rebound is the Silver Knights. Almost a steal right there and is. As Millsor is unable to put that one in the bottom of the net. Going to call that one out of bounds on Maker. And now Gilead's going to have the ball.
Go off the inbound for Mount Gilead. Swings it over to the corner. Elson fakes the three, drives in, decides to do a runner in the lane. That one unable to find its target. Bishop Reedy the other way. Baker gets it over to Maker. Now back to Baker. Baker dribbles to her left, to her left, dishes it over to the corner. Turnover right there caused by the quick hands of Milsor. Milsor all the way, tosses up a shot, but they're gonna get her with a travel. Thought there might have been a foul right there, but the ref indicates travel, so that's gonna be a turnover for Mount Gilead. Milsor had a one on three if she just would have had the chance to look up on the floor. Holly Gomp was running the floor, was wide open for the bounce pass, but nonetheless, I thought there was some contact there, Storm. Could have been maybe shooting two free throws instead of a timeout right now. End of the timeout, Mount Gilead leads 16 to nine. You gotta think if Holly Gomp has been playing her normal self, this game would pretty much already be over for Mount Gilead. It's always, it's always some kind of those night storm, you know, where you just struggle and you really can't get anything to go. But I'm sure Holly Gomp, the player that she is, she'll, she'll, she'll make some corrections in the halftime break and coach will get her going in the second half. For the Silver Knights, got to take care of the basketball. Have nine turnovers so far here in the first half. That ties with how many points they have. So got to take care of the basketball if you are the Silver Knights. Roger has it in the backcourt, getting caught right there. Gets it over to Orders. And look at this Mount Gilead defense just swarming, creating another turnover. Oh my goodness, their defense is playing out of this world as Gomp takes a floater in the lane. That circus shot goes for Holly Gomp. And that might just be me. That might just be what Holly Gomp needed to get the ball to go through the net and get some confidence back into her. She's already up, trying to steal here on defense. Bishop Reedy on offense now in the corner is Baker. Kind of call a blocking foul right there on Mount Gilead. Relatively clean half so far. Only, I believe, three total fouls for either team. Two minutes and 49 seconds here left to go in the first half of this tournament game. Orders to inbound for Bishop Reedy. Getting it. Finding the cutting player, that one's gonna fall off the mark. Rebound pulled down by Piper. Bishop Reedy's had some opportunities at the rim. They've had good looks, but they just cannot capitalize and get it to fall as Gomp cues up a three. Can't get it to go. Bishop Reedy the other way. Marger has it, kicks it over to Baker. Baker a three-pointer on the way, that one just short. Also for the rebound, tracked down by Bishop Reedy. Baker a shot on the way. That one also falls short. Rebound falls in the hands of Baker. She puts up a layup now. So three chances for Bishop Reedy. Three misses, and Mount Gilead takes the ball the other way. Gomp has it now. Catches an ankle with the quick jab step. Almost turns it all over, but her teammate has her back and is going to step up to the line for two. I believe this is only the second pair of free throws we've seen in this game. First pair were shot by Irwin. She went 0 for 2 from the line. Another Mount Gilead trip right here. Also going 0 for 2 from the line. So Mount Gilead left a total of four points on the line so far here in the first half with things winding down. Baker has it, swings it to Maker. Back to Baker, mid-range try on the way. That one off the back of the iron and out. Once again, an offensive rebound for Bishop Reedy, but once again, a turnover for Bishop Reedy. Mount Gilead two on one fast break, and Gomp finds a way to score on a fast break. Nice pass right there from Nilzor down to Gomp, who's running the floor, gets rewarded. And that's her second basket of the night. We're gonna get a backcourt violation on Bishop Reedy, so the turnover's beginning to pile up, Storm. Yeah, it's been tough for them to take care of the basketball here early in this one, and most of these have been self-inflicted wounds as that's not a knock against Mount Gilead's defense, but Bishop Reedy just making some mental lapses. Maybe a little bit of nerves coming in playing such a good Indians team. Gomp skip pass, skip pass over to Elson, working that one inside. 
Mid-range try on the way for Mount Gilead. Struggle for the rebound. That one's going to be a jump ball is some extracurricular activity on that one. Story of this game is really going to be which team comes out of the halftime break, able to capitalize on these easy looks at the rim. Both, both teams and both clubs have had their chances at the rim, but really neither can capitalize. Under a minute left to go, and another turnover for the Silver Knights. Just have really struggled taking care of the basketball, and Mount Gilead taking the ball the other way now. Just over a minute, a minute left to go here in this half. Ellison has it. Over to Gomp. Gomp skip pass back to Ellison. Working the ball inside to Milsor. Now pass all the way down on a block for Bishop Reedy. Another tie up down there. That one ends with a foul. Now Gilly going to take possession out of bounds. Gomp the inbounder. Off bounce pass right there to Bishop Reedy. That one's going to be a turnover for Mount Geely, their fifth of the half. It's going to be a foul on, I believe, Millsore for Mount Geely. Bishop Reedy really needing a bucket here before the end of this first half to get some momentum and cut this single digits. Silver Knights working the ball around. Hurd has it. Heard a little stop and go right there. Almost turns it over. Scrap for the ball on the floor. Somehow gets it out. Will be to Mount Gilead, though. And Mount Gilead turns it over. Two quick turnovers for both these squads. And another one. No one really wants this basketball. Mount Gilead's going to take it all the way. That one falls off the rim and out. Fisher Breedy the other way with 10 seconds. Hop step on the way. Going to get her with a travel right there. And with 8.9 left to go here in the second quarter. Now Gilead takes possession. Gomp in the left corner. Kicks it out at the buzzer. That three-pointer is not going to fall, but that's going to do it for the first half here at Mount Gilead, where the Indians lead the Silver Knights 20-9. Going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with some halftime stats. But for now, you've been watching High School Hoops live and free on the OH Report. County Hospital, along with Ohio Health, is the official sports medicine provider of Mount Gilead High School. Available 24-7 to care for your athlete, with same-day appointment options available. They keep your athletes healthy and in the game. Morrow County Hospital and Ohio Health are proud to partner with Mount Gilead High School to provide a healthier community. Serving teams, parents, and all of Morrow County. Paywalls, just live sports, exclusively on the OH Report.
Welcome back to Mount Gilead where tournament action is underway and it's halftime here with Mount Gilead out in front over the Bishop Reedy Silver Knights. Take a look at the halftime stats. For Mount Gilead, four field goals, four threes, zero free throws, 10 rebounds, five of those coming offensively and seven turnovers. For Bishop Reedy, three field goals, one three, zero free throws, 10 rebounds, four of those offensively and 14 turnovers. Storm Blanche joined by the illustrious Garrett Parlett. And Garrett, it was the Mount Gilead defense doing work here in the first half. Forcing double digit turnovers, Mount Gilead doing exactly what they need to do if they want to come in here and get another tournament win. But Bishop Reedy, they really had opportunities to make this a closer game than it is at the half. They're only down 11 points. Definitely the game is not over yet, but they got to capitalize when they get to the rim and get those easy shots and easy looks. But as of right now, it's really been Mount Gilead's defense and then their three-point shooting. It was difficult for Bishop Reedy to put the ball in the bottom of the net the entire first half. For Mount Gilead, Holly Gaunt finally getting things back on track near the end of that second quarter, and that's got to be a sigh of relief for all those Mount Gilead fans out there. I believe she was score scoreless in the first quarter, and now sitting at four points has been Elzen for Mount Gilead. I believe she's knocked down a three-pointer and two floaters in the lane. It's really helped Mount Gilead build their lead up to 11 points. It's really going to be a battle who can not turn the ball over and who can get the easy looks at the rim to fall in and not do too much and play their game. That's going to do it for halftime here at Mount Gilead. Make sure you stick it with us as we got second half tournament action on the way. But for now, you've been watching High School Hoops live and free on the OH Report. County Hospital, along with Ohio Health, is the official sports medicine provider of Mount Gilead High School. Available 24-7 to care for your athlete, with same-day appointment options available. They keep your athletes healthy and in the game. Morrow County Hospital and Ohio Health are proud to partner with Mount Gilead High School to provide a healthier community. Serving teams, parents, and all of Morrow County. Paywalls, just live sports, exclusively on the OH Report.
Second half tournament action already underway. Storm Bluntschley joined by the illustrious Garrett Parlett. Garrett Mountain Gilead with a healthy lead here in this one over the Silver Knights. Really been doing it on the defensive end, but right there, Bishop Reedy gets the turnover they so need. Let's see if they can capitalize on the offensive end. It had been the turnover bug plaguing the Bishop Reedy Silver Knights, but able to get a turnover right there. And look who's in the passing lanes. Holly Goff had a little bit of a fur, excuse me, cold first quarter, but gets on the board quickly with that fast break layup, and this crowd erupts. Told you at the end of that first half storm that Holly Gonf was not going to have a quiet second half. She came out ready on the first possession, gets a steal, gets a turnover, and gets out on the offensive end and gets an easy bucket. And that's another one for Mount Gilead as they are not able to put away that three. Gonf with a little bit of a heat check, taking it all the other way is Bishop Reedy. Larger has it now, kicks it over, swings it all the way over to the corner where Order is waiting for it. Orders with a little bit of fake out right there and a three-pointer on the way. That one falls cold as well. Off the offensive rebound is Bishop Reedy. Elson across half court. Picked up her dribble, almost travels right there, getting caught. I don't think Mount Gilead was aware that she didn't have her dribble and that's gonna be a five second violation. Great defense from the Silver Knights. So Bishop Reedy coming out and forcing a few turnovers here in the second half, and they got it to 11. Let's see what they can do and see if they can capitalize. Still a lot of basketball here to play as Larger kicks it over Scholosser. Scholosser is going to get a five-second violation as well, so great defense being played on both ends out of the break. It's kind of been the story of the night. Once Bishop Reedy finally gets a turnover, he plays some great defense. Mount Gilead just plays better defense, and they get another steal right there and another turnover. Mount Gilead now on offense. Gomp has it in the left wing, floats that one inside, and a beautiful bounce pass right there. Kisses it off the window and puts it in. Really not sure how she got that one up. Storm, but it was a beautiful ball movement and beautiful look inside down low, and she got it to go off the window. Excellent ball movement right there. Always making the extra pass is Mount Gilead. Missed shot right there for the Silver Knights. Mount Gilead looking to push the tempo. Elson all the way to the cup and fills it up. Bishop Reedy's got to step up here defensively if they don't want Mount Gilead to pull away here. Elson and Goff using their speed to their advantage for a few quick, easy fast break buckets here early Silver, in the third quarter. Silver Knights need to put a score on the board here and they turn it over once again. A myriad of turnovers tonight for Bishop Reedy. Taking it the other way now is Piper. Swings it over to Elson. Elson floats that one up top. Tried to make the extra pass right there to the open teammate. That one is a turnover. Orders try to spin move right there, but forgot the basketball, so that's going to be a turnover, and Mount Gilead's going to take it the other way. Uh, Gilead trying to break this Silver Knight 1-3-1 one through, one through one zone. They will not with that three-pointer right there. Bishop Reedy the other way on the fast break. It's going to be a foul right there. Looked like all ball from up here, but ref saw it differently. They're going to head to the stripe for two. Thought that one should have been called a travel on orders. Picked up her dribble around the free throw line and went all the way down to the block area. But the ref... Did agree with my call and said there was some contact and Orders knocks down a first free throw. Orders making the first free throw of the game for either team. Steps up to the line, still has another one left on this trip. That one's offline, but they're going to call a lane violation on Orders. So Mount Gilead is going to take the rock the other way. Elson has it. Elson once again floats that one upside and skip pass all the way over to Piper. Mount Gilead moving the ball around well. Gomp has it now. Sneaks that one inside. Back out top to Elson. Elson mid-range try on the way. That one falls short. Orders has the rebound behind the back move right there. Silver Knights on the attack now. Wheatley sitting at the mid-range area. 
Dribbles inside, almost turns it over, dives on the floor. Not going to be a jump ball call right there as Bishop Reedy steps back, puts it up for mid-range. That one is going to find its target. They're going to say last touch by the Silver Knights. 4-12 left to go here in the third. Gomp sets the inbound for the Indians. Elson has it across the midcourt line. Swings it over the corner. Millsor's waiting for it. Tries a three-pointer on this possession. That one hits the rim and out. Borders taking it the other way. Picks up her dribble. Finds a way to get it out of that corner. Now into the deep post. Going to call a foul on Mount Gilead. It's going to be out of bounds for the Silver Knights. Three fifty-one left to go here in the third quarter of action. Quick mid-range try off the inbound. Donk's got it with a full head of steam. One-on-one, -on -one fast break, steps back for the mid-range try. Falls right in the hands of a teammate off the offensive rebound, and that one goes up and in. Right into the hands of her teammate who was standing right under the rim. It could have been a pass storm. We don't know, but Holly Gomp does get it down to her teammate, and she gets it up for two, and they extend their lead to 16. Silver Knights now on offense. Trying to stop the bleeding here as Mount Gilead has kind of turned it on in the third quarter and hasn't looked back. That's going to help right there, but they cannot get it to fall. Fight for the rebound. Mount Gilead not able to save it. That would have been a good shot to put things back on track for the Silver Knights. However, it falls out of bounds, and Bishop Reedy is going to have another crack at this one. Irwin checks in for Mount Gilead. Silver Knights trying to inbound. They have found most of their scoring off of those inbounds. Good wind door back cut, open back door cuts, excuse me. Open as Maker has it now, dribbles inside. Takes a, the contact right there, unable to get it to drop. No call from the official. Elson has it on the fast break now. Dribbles all the way inside, puts up a floater and fills it up. To add two more for Mount Gilead. Nice hesitation crossover right there from Elson. Got the defender to buy it, it was Maker who went for the block and Elzer speeded right past her for the easy layup. Silver Knights still trying to score here in the second half. They start off the game pretty slow and they're starting off the second quarter, or excuse me, the second half pretty slow. Gomp's gonna try a three-pointer and that one falls from the distance. Gomp finally making her first three-pointer of the game that gets her up to nine points tonight as almost the leading scorer for the Mount Gilead Indians. Another rebound falls off target for Mount Gil or excuse me, for Bishop Reedy. Battle for the rebound's gonna go in the direction of Mount Gilead. Gomp set to inbound for Mount Gilead. Not a lot of movement here for the inbounds for the Indians. Are able to get it inside to Elson. Back to Gomp in that same spot she just made one from. Rebound pulled down by Mount Gilead. Quick spin move right there. Another battle for the rebound. That one's going to fall out of bounds. It's going to be Bishop Reedy's ball. Just under two minutes left to go in the third quarter. Mount Gilead with a commanding lead on this one. Silver Knights still trying to get things back on track for their offense. Only have one made field goal here in the second half. Perfectly telegraphed steal right there for Thomas. Takes it all the way to the other end and finishes the easy fast break layup to extend this Mount Gilead lead. Mount Gilead has been on a 15-3 run ever since the halftime break, and it looks like they're not slowing down. It's going to be this third quarter that determines this win if Mount Gilead does pull it off. But right there, Bishop Reedy does knock down a three-pointer. An official timeout here, I believe, as there are some shoelaces that need to be tied. Able to get that done swiftly. This is the referee. Mount Gilead set to inbound things. They get it into Gomp. Gomp tried to float that one over the top. It's going to be caught in a one-on-one -on -one fast break right there. Thought there was a travel. 
no call, and I guess ball doesn't lie as Silver Knights can't get that one to fall. Now Gilead pulls down the rebound. Irwin has it for him. Now Gilead gets it over to Gomp. Gomp fakes, drives to the right. Stops, pulls up. Gets it over to Miller. Now in the hands of Milsor. Back to Miller. Miller dribbles inside. Gomp has it. Over to Milsor. Back up top to Miller. Now Gilead being patient with just under 30 seconds left. Gomp puts up a floater off one leg. Irwin grabs the rebound, puts it up, grabs her own miss once again, kicks it out to Gomp. Gomp with that same shot, misses once again. Now Gilead with a couple of tries, isn't gonna get to the fall. Gomp has it off the turnover, floats it to Irwin. Irwin puts it up, almost puts it in, and they're gonna call a travel on Irwin. Thought there was definitely gonna be some contact call on that one, Storm, and subs will check in for Mount Gilead. Oh, Irwin was, Irwin was gonna be heading to the free throw line on that one. I did too, but they're gonna hit Irwin with a travel. Silver Knights playing this one smart with 10 seconds rolling it so the clock doesn't stop. Larger has it now, kicks it over. Larger in the corner with three seconds left to go, and that one falls at the third quarter buzzer for the Silver Knights. That's gonna do it through three quarters of action. The Mount Gilead Indians lead the Bishop Reedy Silver Knights 35 to 17. Gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back for some fourth quarter action. But for now, you've been watching High School Hoops live and free on the OH Report. County Hospital, along with Ohio Health, is the official sports medicine provider of Mount Gilead High School. Available 24-7 to care for your athlete, with same-day appointment options available. They keep your athletes healthy and in the game. Morrill County Hospital and Ohio Health are proud to partner with Mount Gilead High School to provide a healthier community. Serving teams, parents, and all of Morrill County. Fourth quarter tournament action already underway and things start off with an over and back for Bishop Reedy and that has kind of been the tail of the tape as they really have not been able to take care of the basketball in this one. They've been struggling mightily to keep a hold of the ball and not let Mount Gilead have easy turnovers and yet another possession right there. Bishop Reedy does turn it over. Miller swings it over to Thomas. Thomas on the three-point line, finds a cut in Gomp, and Gomp unable to put that one home. Rebound pulled down by Bishop Reedy, and a foul on the floor. It's gonna go against Mount Gilead. Silver Knights are gonna have the ball out of bounds. I think Gomp was a little surprised. She was so wide open. It was a beautiful play, beautiful design, and nice setup from her teammate on the pass. Just a little too strong off glass. Silver Knights trying to score. Didn't do a whole lot of scoring in the third quarter. Trying to put together a better quarter as Mount Gilead is in commanding control of this one. Got to be pretty much a perfect quarter of play for the Silver Knights if they want a chance to come back in this one. Larger has it now, dribbles inside, kicks it out. Baker, mid-range try on the way. That one falls right into the hands of Orders. Not going to fall either. Mount Gilead fans here thought there was a travel right there. Not going to get that call. Bishop Reedy is going to take the ball out of bounds. Bishop Reedy to inbound. Getting into Baker. Orders three point try on the way. Rebounds falls in the hands of Mount Gilead. Gomp three pointer on the way. Made one in the third. Going to add that total in the fourth. Canning home another one from three. Holly Gomp has been on fire ever since the end of that first quarter. Didn't have a point in the first, but ever since then she's got 12 and gets a. Ferocious block on the defensive end. Holly Gomp, the senior, 
is showing out here in the second half. What an athletic, athletic play there from Holly Goff to get up and snatch that one clean out of the air. Silver Knights inbound now off of that block. Larger has it, dribbles inside. Gets it over to Baker. Baker to order, she tries a three-pointer. And that one gets the Bishop Reedy offense back on track. Just what the doctor ordered, Bishop Reedy needs to get something going, but Holly Goff trying to match it, but she cannot, and will be a hold on Bishop Reedy, and will stay with Mount Gilead. Things getting a little handsy down there here for both these squads. You can tell it's tournament time. Goff sent to inbound for Mount Gilead. Goff with a deep inbound to Elson. Back over to Goff. Goff finds the cutting man, Thomas, and Thomas is going to get fouled and head to the free throw line for two. Been a pretty clean game storm. Not a lot of free throws shot here in this one. Mount Gilead will head to the free throw line. See if they can knock down two and add to this lead and possibly make it 20. Only one free throw made in this one so far through three quarters. And that trend continues as that one rolls around the rim and falls out. But Bishop Reedy with the lone free throw here in this one. A pretty clean cut game so far. Thought we were going to get a wedgie ball there. Storm on that. <laughs> that free throw it's in, but nonetheless, she does knock down the second one. I don't know if I've ever seen a wedgie ball on a free throw. I've I think at that point you you get like 10 points for that. I mean, like what a skill shot that would be. As Bishop Reedy has the ball on offense now. 5.45 left to go, and what a crossover from Orders. Put the defender on skates. Fortunately, was, didn't have quick enough fingers to catch that replay, but that was an awesome play right there. Elson taking it the other way for Mount Gilead. Over to Thomas. Now to Gomp. Back to Thomas on the right wing. Mount Gilead moving the ball around. Elson has it. Back over to Gomp. Mount Gilead being patient. The clock is their friend with such a big lead. Elson has it. Dribbles to her left. Floater in the lane off one leg. That one falls in the hands of the Silver Knights. Where Elson has been doing most of her damage is those floaters in the lane. That one got it over the tall trees, but can't get it to go, and it will be Mount Gilead ball. It has been tough for Bishop Reedy to take care of the basketball. Been preaching that all night, but I mean, when you have as many turnovers as they have, it's it's difficult to win a ball game. Gomf now tries to float that one over the top of the defender and does, and a little bit of a circus shot right there for Matt Gilead as they add to their total. Matt Gilead now up 21 points, Storm Bishop Reedy. The time is beginning to fade. They gotta get something going if they want any shot and come and making the, com the comeback here. It has been very difficult for them to find the bottom of the net and that possession pretty much summarizes everything that's been going on here through this one. Mount Gilead inbounds now, cross half court. Milsor has it, gets it over to Gomp. Gomp, another three point try on the way. That one off the backboard and out. Orders pulls down the long rebound. Pushes it over to Larger. Three pointer on the way for the Silver Knights. That one's not going to find the mark either. Milsor has it with just under four minutes. So some more laces need to be tied here. Irwin's shoes came undone. For Mount Gilead, 20 point lead, or excuse me, 21 point lead with four minutes left to go. Pretty much put this one in cruise control and for Bishop Reedy, look for something to build off of. They are a young squad, so not a total loss here. Elson has it, kicks it over to Goff. Up top to Millsor, over to Thomas, three-pointer on the way. 
Ball's out of bounds and it's gonna be Silver Knight ball. Mount Gilead can hold on to this victory tonight. They'll be moving on in the tournament and Bishop Reedy will be packing their bags and taking this one home as their last game of the year. Silver Knights on the offensive possession, have it in the right corner, fake three-pointer on the way, mid-range pull-up try. That one off the front of the rim and off. Dom pulls down the rebound in the open court, trying to make something happen, running hook shot. Offensive rebound for Mount Gilead, back out to Gomp. Gomp mid-range try. That rebound falls into the hands of the Silver Knights. Larger has it, gets it over to Baker. Baker tried to sneak that one inside, out, inside, excuse me. Kick it out, three-pointer off the mark. Rebound pulled down by Mount Gilead. Thomas has it, gets it to the free throw line. Back out to Goff, another three-pointer on the way, and that one! High arcing moon ball right there finds the bottom of the net. Man, when Goff gets going, she is hard to slow down. She will continue to shoot the ball at will, regardless of how many she has made or missed, and now she is up to 15 points. All in the last three quarters, too. Commanding lead for Mount Gilead. It's gonna be a need to be a miracle for the Silver Knights to get back into this one. Shipman has it off the bench for Mount Gilead. Kicks it over to Milsor. Shipman has it once again. Now to Gomp, she's trying to put the icing on this cake. It won't get the shooter's touch. Irwin tries to pull down the rebound. Gomp ends up with it. Kicks it up to the three point line. Once again, the dagger right there from Milsor. With that three pointer. That will be the nail in the coffin. Storm up 27 points. This was an 11 point game at the halftime break. But Mount Gilead has blown the doors off of them here in the second half. And they will move on in the tournament. A buck 39 left to go here in the fourth quarter of tournament play. Silver Knights are going to take the ball out of bounds. Wheatley set to inbound. She gets it into Baker. Baker up to Wolf. Wolf mid range try. That one off the mark. Silver Knights trying to keep it inbounds, and they do somehow. Let's see if they can put a scoring possession together here. That one's going to fall for another offensive rebound. Wolf's going to try a three-pointer right there. That one's going to fall out of bounds with 116 left to go in the fourth. I believe all Mount Gilead's got to do is dribble this one out. And they will get a tournament victory here tonight against Bishop Reddy. Three-pointer on the way from Pfeiffer. They don't want to give up just yet. They want to keep pouring it on. Off of that miss is going to be the Silver Knights. Mid-range try on the way. Rebound pulled down by Mount Gilead. Pfeiffer has it now. Over to Shipman. Gomp a fake, dribbles inside, loses possession of the ball. Going to call it off of the Silver Knights, and Mount Gilead's going to retain possession. See if Mount Gilead continues to keep their foot on the gas here and add on to this total. Looking down inside, but Bishop Reedy gets the deflection, tips it out of bounds. Gomp set the inbound for the Indians. like they're going to try to keep pouring it on here, Garrett. All Mount Gilead has to do is dribble it out, but they want to go for the, the jugular here. Ball's in Bennett to Wheatley for the Silver Knights. Turn over here for Gomp in a run out one on one fast break and that one's going to find the bottom of the net. Silver 
Knights on offense. 15 seconds left to go here. Going to get to be a tie-up. That's going to be a jump ball. And with that, Mount Gilead's going to survive and advance. The Bishop Reedy Silver Knights are going to be sent home, and that's going to do it for their season. Off across midcourt with 10 seconds left. Going to put another one up right here at the buzzer. That one's not going to fall with 1.5 left to go in the fourth. Silver Knights inbound, and that's going to do it here at Mount Gilead, where the Indians survive and advance. The Silver Knights are going to head home. The final score in favor of the Indians, 49 to 20. Going to do it. Be, going to take a quick break and be right back with a player of the game interview and some final stats. You've been watching High School Hoops live and free on the OH Report. County Hospital, along with Ohio Health, is the official sports medicine provider of Mount Gilead High School. Available 24-7 to care for your athlete, with same-day appointment options available. They keep your athletes healthy and in the game. Morrow County Hospital and Ohio Health are proud to partner with Mount Gilead High School to provide a healthier community. Serving teams, parents, and all of Morrow County. Paywalls, just live sports, exclusively on the OH Report.
Welcome back to Mount Gilead where the Mount Gilead Indians were victorious over the Bishop Reedy Silver Knights, 49 to 20. Taking a look at the final stats, Mount Gilead with 11 field goals, eight threes, one free throw, 18 rebounds, eight of them offensively, 11 turnovers. For Bishop Reedy, four field goals, two threes, one free throw, 19 rebounds, nine offensive rebounds, and 21 turnovers. Storm Blanchley joined by the illustrious Garrett Parlett. And Garrett, the real key to this one was the third quarter for Mount Gilead. They really blew it all open, went on a 15 to three run and really opened things up. It was 11 point ball game and then at one point it was 27 right at the end of that fourth quarter and Mount Gilead really just, they turned it on that third quarter and it was the defense that forced Bishop Reedy to continue to turn the ball over as they were in the first half and they really never looked back and Holly Goff really got going in those uh, two quarters. Yeah, the third quarter just, I mean, killed Bishop Reedy, never really recovered from that at the start of both halves. Just came out a step slow. Maybe a little bit of the tournament nerves playing into that. But that's going to do it because we do have a player of the game interview coming up here after the break. So make sure you stick around for that. You've been watching High School Hoops live and free on the OH Report. County Hospital, along with Ohio Health, is the official sports medicine provider of Mount Gilead High School. Available 24-7 to care for your athlete, with same-day appointment options available. They keep your athletes healthy and in the game. Morrill County Hospital and Ohio Health are proud to partner with Mount Gilead High School to provide a healthier community. Serving teams, parents, and all of Morrill County. Standing courtside now with our player of the game, Holly Gomp. Holly, with 17 total points, it was a struggle a little bit in the first half, but you really turned it up in the second half, especially in that third quarter, to break things open for your team. What was the talk on in halftime to get you back on track? Just to calm down and let the game come to us and, and uh, slow down. You guys had a bunch of three-pointers here tonight. Uh, just firing on all cylinders from behind the arc. Was that the game plan coming coming in, or was that just kind of how things fell? It's just kind of how things fell. Survive in advance now. Tournament time here for your varsity club. What is the plan going forward? Win as many games as we can and go as far as we can. All righty. Thank you very much. Once again, your player of the game, Holly Goff, with 17, vo 17 points. Excuse me. Congratulations and, congratulations and enjoy this one. Thank you. Gonna get Garrett Parlett back in the booth here to close things up. Garrett for Mount Gilead. It was a dominant performance all the way through this one. Where do the Indians go from here? I was talking to the head coach of the Lady Indians. He said that they will be playing here at home versus Grandview. So another matchup where the Lady Indians have a chance to win that one. They are at home, so always a home court advantage regardless of the circumstance. So I'm sure we'll be back here for this one, Storm. Now I'm not sure if it'll be us, but I know. OH will be here, I'm sure. But it really was a dominating performance. Once Holly Goff really got going in those last three quarters, Mount Gilead really began to pull away. They struggled when she didn't score, but when she did find her rhythm, they really got going and opened it up. That's going to do it here for Mount Gilead. Survive and advance tournament play here. A bunch more tournament coverage coming your way for the OH Report. But now you have been watching High School Hoops live and free on the OH Report. <laughs>